Welcome to my office. I'm Jeff Snow, pastor of uh, First Baptist Church in Port Hope. And um, like most churches, probably all churches in Ontario right now, today is March the 21st, tomorrow is on March 22nd. And um, like all churches, we are closed, physically closed, as long as the state of emergency is taking place in Ontario because of the coronavirus. But um, even though we're physically closed, we want to remain in the church. We want to stay in touch with people. We want to provide resources to people as best we can. And so um, those of you who are online, and many of our people aren't, but those of you watching this, you probably are online. And so we are going to be posting uh, some new sermons, some new devotionals that Ruth and I will be doing. Uh, I think um, we'll be re also recording some, some music that you can enjoy. And we'll also be posting some older sermons. So for the last two years or so, um, we've been archiving sermons from First Baptist Church. But I've been kind of hemming and hawing as to whether we're going to post them online or not. But they've been stored and waiting for me to decide what to do. This seems like the right time to put stuff online. And so we are going to review a series we did about a year and a half ago on the Apostles' Creed, which is really Christianity 101. We, we took apart the Apostles' Creed line by line and looked at the essentials of what we believe as Christians. And so um, over the coming weeks, we'll, we'll post those. Even when we, when we get back to meeting together as a church physically, we'll probably still keep posting those sermons. And, and so if you want to follow along with those, if you saw them before, it's a good review. And if you haven't, well, it's a good Christianity 101 that covers a lot of the basic um, tenets and beliefs of the Christian church. And many of our people aren't online, like I said. And so if you are a part of First Baptist Church and you know some people that maybe aren't able to see some of this stuff on our YouTube channel or our Facebook page or our website, uh, give them a call. Keep in touch with the people in our church. If you need a phone number, uh, contact me. Uh, office or at home and I can help connect you with people. Uh, let's be the church through this time and continue to, to protect and guard the community that God has given us by His Spirit and to continue to encourage each other and watch out for each other. When the shutdown of all stuff in Ontario started, kind of started to really pick up speed over the last six or seven days ago, there was a scripture verse that came to mind that really struck me um, about the situation that we're in. And it's Psalm 4610. Psalm 4610. If I was more high tech, I would have it kind of scrolling across the bottom here. So just imagine that Psalm 4610 is written across the bottom. And it says, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still. This is a situation where, in some segments of society, panic can set in. And we can start to just have this panic and, and fear can begin to, to take hold. And, and as humans in the 21st century in Western society, when there's a problem that comes along, we always feel like we have to do something. We think that something as simple as pressing like on a Facebook page or, or doing something more tangible than that. We always feel like you know, there's something we have to do. We have to solve the problem. And, and men, stereotypically, so I'm told, we're like that. We like to, to have to fix something. If someone tells us about a problem, we don't just want to listen to it. We want to get in there and, and try and fix it. And, and that's what we're like in a situation like this. And this could be even more frustrating because so much of what we're facing is, is beyond our control. And that can be difficult. And that can be very, very stressful. But in, in the midst of us wanting to do something and, and, and be active to try and solve what's going on, God's message to us in Psalm 46.10 is to be still. Be still. Um, in the King James Version, a lot of Psalms will say, fret not. Don't fret. Don't panic. Philippians 4 says, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. 
and the peace that passes all understanding regard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. God doesn't always promise to fix every situation to our liking. He works things out for his glory and for our good, our ultimate good. Well, he does promise, first and foremost, his peace. And as we be still before God, his promise is to give us the peace that passes anything that we can understand. And in a situation like this, we're forced to be still, which is a challenge to a lot of us. Now, I know that's not the case for everybody. We have a lady in our church who works at, as a nurse at Regency Manor Seniors Home. And they're presently in lockdown just because of a general flu situation. And I'm sure <laughs> this whole idea of being still is not resonating maybe with her or people that are in those situations. And in, in, in what we're facing as a society, we do want to express our thanks and our gratitude to, to first responders and doctors and nurses and grocery store clerks and, and letter carriers and, and people who are still working and doing their job to provide the basic services that we need. But for most of us, this is a time to take advantage of stillness. Um, so I live in downtown Port Hope. The church is right in the heart of downtown Port Hope, and I live a block away. And so I've been practicing social distancing as best I can <laughs> by living alone in my apartment and then walking the block to church and being pretty much alone in, in the church office. And um, but I get my two block walk of exercise. And um, last couple of nights I walked home around 8:30, 9 o'clock at night, and it was so dead, so quiet, so still. Everything was closed. I was expecting, felt like I was in one of those Western movies, you know, and you almost expect a tumbleweed to come rolling down the street like it's a ghost town. You have to be forced to be still. But to be still for what? Why? Well, Psalm 46.10 tells us, be still and know that God is God. Now, there's an assumption in this passage that God is knowable, that God can be known. I was recently talking to someone who grew up as a Christian, but has kind of developed their own philosophy of life apart from Christianity. They, they're not atheists, but they said they believe in maybe Mother Earth or Gaia or some other... Other people believe in like this unknowable force that's out there that holds things together. But the truth of the matter is the God of the Bible is knowable. And while in, in his fullness, our finite minds may not be able to fully grasp all of who God is, God has chosen to make himself knowable. He has revealed enough of himself that we can have an intimate, deep relationship with the creator of the universe. God can be known. He can be known through Jesus Christ, his son, revealed God the Father in human flesh. And we can know him, died on the cross, rose from the dead, lives today, longing to have a relationship with us. We can know God through the Holy Spirit. The leads, directs, guides, reminds us of what God has taught us in the past and just empowers us to serve. We can know God through his word. God has chosen the scriptures, the Holy Bible, to, to reveal himself so that we can understand and know who he is. We can know God through prayer. We can literally talk to the creator of the universe. And we can lay our requests before him and listen for his still small voice, that we can know him know that he is God. So in times of uncertainty, we can know God. We can know God because he is noble. And that's important because God is sovereign. He is still on the throne. Even when things seem like they're all out of whack, God is still in control. You can trust him. God is all-knowing. Um, nothing catches God by surprise. The word oops is not in God's vocabulary. Coronavirus did not catch him by surprise. He is living and active in this world and wanting to work in and through all that is going on. God gives peace in anxious times. And when we know God, we know his peace. And knowing God gives us a sense of purpose. We are not just here randomly. We have a purpose in this life. And I think in a situation, situations like this, our purpose is to bless others, 
And our purpose is that as we get to know Jesus more, our purpose is to point others to the, the light and love and the peace that is found in Jesus Christ. In knowing God, we know that there's more to this life than, than just what we experience from day to day. But there's a bigger picture. And welcoming Jesus into our lives, accepting his forgiveness for our sin, opens up a whole new facet of life here and now, and also in the life to come in eternity. And knowing God often gets lost in the busyness and the, uh, the distractions of life. Knowing God can also help, but also helps us when we're anxious and we're going through difficult times. We can know that He is there for us, but in the busyness and in the distractions, we can sometimes forget that and just get so focused on everything that's going on around us and all the stuff we see on the news. But we are being called to be still and know that He is God. So if you find yourself with a lot of time on your hands, take the opportunity to be still and know. God. If you find yourself stressed, tempted to fear, tempted to panic, be still. You know that He is God. Can I say a prayer for you? Lord, thank you so much that you are knowable. Thank you, God, that through crises in our lives, through crises in society, that you are still on the throne and you are still in control. We pray, Lord God, for, for those who are directed affect, directly affected by this virus and those who may have lost loved ones and those who are ill. I pray, Lord, that you would comfort them, lift them, and watch over them. For those of us who may be tempted to panic and fear, I pray, God, that you would just ease all of our anxieties, that we would know a peace that passes understanding, that we wouldn't be able to explain it or put it into words, that we would just know that your peace is there. And Lord, for those of us who are doing fine but just have a lot of time on our hands right now, help us to put it for good use. We know you now. We know you better. Be still. Understand more and more what you've called us to do. Understand more and more the purpose that you have in our lives. Help us, Lord, in all we do. We still know that you are God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope you have a good day and a good rest of the week. This is my first attempt doing something like this. I hope it worked. I don't know if we got the comments thing going on underneath there. You can get some feedback. But you can uh, email us at the church, info at firstbaptistporthope.com. You can call us at 905-885-6021. Let us know how you're doing. And uh, we'll see you again soon. God bless.